In Photoshop 2023, you can use neural filters, the landscape mixer in particular, to create all kinds of weird imagery, truly unusual effects, surrealistic, impressionistic, loads of effects. You can use an image with itself. You can use an image with a blurred version of itself and much, much more. All you need to do is open an image, then go to another image and you can see this effect. This is using a pattern. Very simple, just go to edit and then down to define pattern. You can store it away as a pattern preset. The entire image is stored. Once you've done that, go to another document, then go to edit and fill. And you can use a variety of different fills, use pattern. And you've got scripts, so you've got random fill, brick fill, spiral, symmetry fill, and many, many more. So that image can be used in the neural filter. Cancel. Here's another one. Again, another one using random fill. You can change the size, you can make them really small, make them very big, very easy to use just via that edit and fill. Here's another one. And this time, the same pattern design, but this time blurred using the oil paint filter. Oil paint filter you can find in the filter menu and down to stylize and oil paint. It's still the same image, but just distorted and warped in a very unusual way. You could of course use transforms and warp it as well. Here's another image. This one, exactly the same using the pattern design, but this time using the wave filter. So go to filter and down to distort and wave. That can create all kinds of wind wonderful distortion, which you can then use in your neural filter. Here's another one. This time, the complete image, but blurred, using one of the blur, blur galleries. So filter and down to blur gallery. Loads of different blurs available, and you can use that, or maybe just the standard blurs. Here's another one. This one, using the wave filter again, but on the blurred image. And the final one, I'm gonna use another effect. So I'm just gonna quickly show you filter, and blur and maybe a box blur. And you can apply that, click OK. Or just use the image itself on itself, just as reasonable as well. So let's just go back to the original. So we're back to the original document. All you need to do is go to filter and neural filters, select that. Once you're in that, you can go down here and you've got all these other ones, some are beta, and you might have to download them. You'll see it's still download. Select landscape mixer. And you can see it's beta. You need to turn it on, so click there. Now it hasn't applied anything yet, but you've got some presets. So you can always go for those. Click here, and this one's a lovely snowy scene. So within seconds, you can produce a Christmas card, an instant Christmas card scene from any photo. I think it's pretty cool. You can click on another one and apply a desert scene or so on. Whole variety or maybe fill it with greenery. Yeah, it's just great as well. But you can go here to custom. So click custom and you can then select an image. This point, obviously you've got this. Unfortunately, it'd be really nice if it offered itself as an image. I'm not certain why they haven't offered that option. They've got all the other ones, but they haven't included the ability to have itself. Very strange. You can select ones you've opened already. You can see all these ones I've just created. And you can see a preview there. Very quickly, the preview. So you can see all the sort of pattern designs that have just been built up using random fill. And that's the result. And you can modify the strength. So you don't have to have it full on 100%. You can reduce it down. You can see more of the image at that point. Still creates a very interesting sort of painted like effect. But if you want the full on maximum sort of weird distortion, just go for that. You can create all kinds of images just use. And also you've got these others. So you can go here and maybe apply summer, which will add a sort of brightening to the effect. Or winter, if you want it as a wintry scene. And you can see what happens. It applies the effect from this image and it applies it to here. So you've got all that snow added very quickly to your image. Though it's a very weird distorted effect there. So I'm just gonna set those down and set the summer down. And then go and select another one. I've got a couple here. 
So you can see again along the top, this one's using a different pattern and just a subtle change will result in a slightly different image. Untitled 2 copy, that one's using the oil paint filter. That creates a slightly more smeary effect. There's another one here, let's just go for this one. And for, oh, that's the wave one. And that creates sort of wavy, you can see what happens, the, all the, the pavements looking like they're sort of warped and distorted as if it's sort of like become a, I don't know, a river, river of concrete. Whole range of different designs possible there. There's another one, this one's the blurred effect, applied to it so you get that lovely blurry smeary effect, it creates very unusual, and that's using the blur gallery. Create nice sort of misty scenes in the morning maybe. Maybe a few too many drinks, maybe. So select that. This one is the wave filter. Distort it again. You can see very unusual distortions here. Select this one and this one. Another sort of blurry effect. That's using the blur gallery. No, that was the box blur, I think. So you can see you can combine multiple ones to create all kinds of unusual designs. So let's just go back to one of the more interesting ones. I'm just going to go to this one. I think this one was the one I wanted. Yes. So create that one. And you can see the effect there. Well, what you can do, you've got the option here of the output, which is very useful. I wish all the filters in Photoshop had this feature. It will be superb. Don't know why they haven't done that, but I would love to see it. You've got here new layer. So it creates a new layer from it. New layer mast, smart but there's also an option for new documents. So you can use that, click OK. That design is then added to a completely fresh document. So the original is not touched. But you've now got this distorted effect here, which you can then go back to the original image, go to filter, neural filters, again, okay, all the way through those steps, landscape mixer, make certain it's on, you always have to turn it on. That's always a slight odd that you, when you just click it, you'd think it would set it on, but it doesn't. Go to custom and you can set that one. And now you can see you've got this new image and there it is in there. And that will be now applied to this. And you can see the effect of that. And of course you can use others, but I'm just gonna click okay. And what you can do with this is you can apply it multiple times. You don't have to apply it just once. Simply go to filter and neural filters. So you can apply multiple. And you can also fade it as well. You can go to edit and there's an option for fade. Ah, that's only available when you're doing it with layers. If you go to a new document, obviously it's not gonna do that. But you can see the result there. It's just created a new document. And you can do the same, filter, neural filters. It would be nice to be able to fade this as well, but unfortunately you can't. And again, you can see the result of that and it creates a very smeary, blurry effect very quickly. And of course, you've still got the original and you can blend that in as well. Just simply select it. So select all, copy it. And of course you can then go over here and you can just paste it in. And you've got the original document. And then of course, it's just a layer. So window and layers, and you can combine them. So with these la this layer panel here, just go here, blending mode, darken. And you can see as you do that sort of gives that fade feature. So it does give that option. And you can just go down here, maybe hard mix, just run through them. Maybe go with screen to create sort of like it's been raining, it's sort of mottled in the morning, the camera's covered with raindrops or something, or smeared with something else. And that's it, using the neural filters and the landscape mixer. Landscape mixer is a really powerful tool. And I'm gonna do a few other videos on it. Please check out my earlier videos on the landscape mixer, which I think is a very powerful filter within Photoshop. Hope you found this of interest. Any comments, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear a like or dislike of course. Always great to have that. Thank you much.